Ruto on Sunday held a Thanksgiving service at State House Nairobi. Now, this is after arriving from the U.S. where he addressed the 77th U.N. Assembly. The president urged the church leaders present to pray for the country's economy, cattle rustling and the tribal conflict. Now, the Thanksgiving service rather was conducted by Bishop Mark Kariuki of Deliverance Church and attended by other bishops from various churches. After his official tour in the United States, it was time to give thanks to the Lord, but this time round, it was at State House Nairobi. In a service that was organized by various church leaders and led by Bishop Makariuki of Deliverance Church. There is none like unto you. You alone are worthy of praise. You are worthy of all glory. You ordained before you laid the foundations of the earth that on this particular day we will be gathered on this state grounds and raise up an altar for you. Ruto urged the clergy to pray for the nation and in particular the country's economy, tribal conflicts and cattle rustling. And I want to pray that the church can pray for a paradigm shift in the economy of our country. Amen. We have laid out good plans and I can see there is light at the end of the tunnel. Things are difficult, but we will succeed because we have God on our side. Please pray for our economy. Please remember to pray for our economy. I said, please remember to pray for our economy. Ruto also took the chance to sharpen his choristering skills by leading the congregation in worship songs. The church leaders present also praying for the nation and Ruto's leadership. I've never seen anything like this and uh, the leader who God has appointed to lead this nation is going to transform this nation the way nobody else. The Thanksgiving prayers come even as the country waits for the president to name his cabinet. Sources indicate that Ruto is scheduled to name his cabinet this week, a cabinet that is to accommodate regional balance and still portray the national outlook. Of greater interest to watch is whether President Ruto will remain true to his promise of having 50% women in his cabinet. Our team, led by our captain, President William Ruto, survived because of prayers. Your Excellency, thank you for leading us by example, for mentoring us young leaders to know the word of God. I have seen many of our colleagues here, and I'll just speak on their behalf, that there's a new dawn. And the Lord said to Moses, Lamekongo Luka TV.